guys, it's Jean here. I'm back with another workout for you guys. Um, today we are working our shoulders, okay? We've got a shoulder workout for you guys. Four exercises, nice and simple. Again, we're not going by time, we're going by sets and rep range, okay? Four sets of four exercises and we are done for the day. The rep range will be about 12 to 15 reps. Um, of course, because we don't have super, super heavy weights, but if you've got super heavy weights at home, then maybe you want to try to hit 10 to 12 weights or even 8 to 12 reps, okay? So, um, all right, so today, you all, we, we need some equipment or some props that you can find at home. I've got a chair here, a plastic chair. Okay, I, I don't think it weighs more than five kilos, really. Um, but of course, if you have a chair, a uh, sturdy one that's not too heavy, anything you can press over your head. Okay, I've also got two bottles of oil here, which I've also used in the little workout before. These will be perfect uh, for a couple of exercises that we'll be doing today. So two weights of equal weight. So these weigh about 2 kilos or 2.5 kilos. Um, yeah, so anything between that and if you want to go all the way up to 5 kilos, uh, that works as well. Okay, so chair. Uh, I don't know, it's probably weighs about 5-6 We're going to do some shoulder presses with it and also some front raises with it, okay? So, if you have a chair that you can press overhead safely, please use that. Don't go too heavy, maybe test it out and make sure it's firm and steady, alright? You don't want it to be like falling over your head um, while you're going to work out. So, four simple exercises. I'll just run through it quickly with you so make sure you can prep your equipment so you know what to expect. We basically have a chair, shoulder press, first of all. So how do you all hold the chair? If you have the back, this is the back, right? You see the, the, the back rest, okay? So what you want to do is have the back rest away from you. Okay? And you want to grab the legs of the chair close to the top of where the seat is, okay? So it's nice and steady. From here, you're going to be basically tucked inside that chair, all right? Nice and safe. So from here, you're going to bring it up to your shoulders, and this is how you're going to press it. Okay, so you go one and a half rep shoulder press, all the way, all the way down. Okay, that's your first exercise. Second one for the chair is your front raise. So again, holding the exact same position, you're just going to raise the chair up and down. Nice and slow. We're doing very controlled movements, so nothing fast or crazy. So don't worry, as long as you have a chair that you can do those two things with, you're good. Okay? Now for the oil, or for, yeah, for my oil, for my bottles, or weighted for your weight, Two exercises we're going to do with it. The first one, working the lateral head of your deltoids, your shoulders, and your side lateral raise. And your second exercise is you're going to hinge over and you're going to give me bent over rear delt raises. Okay? So that's why you won't want to go too heavy with them for this uh, for the next two exercises. All right? So let's get started right away. Okay, if you have a uh, well, well, as usual, you will need a you don't need a mat today. No yoga mat, nothing so lying down on the floor. But you do need a towel and of course your bottle to stay or water to stay hydrated. Now the towel we're gonna use this to warm up your shoulders as well. Okay? If you have resistance bands at home, you can use that to warm up. If not, just grab the towel and make it the longest that, that you can. My towel is pretty short. Okay, but hold it diagonally all the way to the edge. Create tension, so I don't want it like this. I don't want to slack, I want it all the way up. And you're gonna start with some shoulder rotations. Okay, my towel is very short. Alright, but what you're going to do is rotate your shoulders. Okay? So, if my towel is short, I'm going to show you how to do it with a band. Give me a second to grab a band. If my towel is short, I've got these bands. These will work a lot better for me. So, all the way in, and then you've got some flexibility. So, just give me some shoulder rotation. Just to warm, warm up your rotator cuffs, warm up your shoulders. That's it. So, we're just going to warm up the shoulders. So, we're purely doing a pure shoulder workout today. Okay? So your shoulder muscles are called your deltoids, all right? But of course, there's many angles to them, the front, your side, and the rear, the back. So we're gonna hit all parts of those shoulders today, okay? Good. Just give me about 10 rotations or more. Just get nice and supple. If you have very, very stiff shoulders, you wanna increase the mobility, just do more reps of this warm-up exercise. Just rotate your shoulders. That's it, okay? Just to hold the towel, same thing. Just press it up. Just move it without any weight. Grab my towel. Okay. So using the towel, same thing. Just pull it, create tension. Elbows in. Up and down. Hold up your shoulders. Activate your shoulders. That's it. And even without weight, just give me some rotations like this. All right. 
back and forth. Bend your elbows at 90 degrees. Rotate your shoulders. That's it. Now up and down. Up and down. So working your shoulders. All right, you're not. Bend your elbows like this. You keep your arms soft. Elbows up and down. That's it. All right, good. Okay, so let's get started with the first exercise straight away, guys. We're going to start off with your shoulder press. We're going to do one and a half reps, meaning you're going to go all the way up, come down halfway. Before you come all the way down here, sorry, it's a bit shaky. Before you come all the way down there, you're going to go back up, and then then only you're going to work. So you're going to do like this. All the way up, halfway down, back up, and then all the way down. So remember the shoulder press. Elbows relaxed. You don't want to flare your elbows out like this when you're doing shoulder presses. Stand from the side, starting in front of you. You're going to bring your arm. Think about bringing your biceps to your ears. Okay, then forward. So it's a D curve, it's not a straight line. Coming forward and back. All right? Nice and controlled coming down. And remember when you press anything back, you don't, you don't arch your back, okay? So engage your core, don't hurt your lower back. Keep it strong as you press, okay? Core very engaged. But remember, these are your trapezes, your traps up here. You don't want to be shrugging like this. Roll your shoulders down, okay? Relax them and focus on your delts, your shoulders here, not your traps, okay? All right, so relax your neck here, all right? So up and down. All right, let's start with the first exercise. One and a half reps, shoulder, chair shoulder press, all right? So grab your chair, remember, like this. And let's start with your first rep. Rack it up to your shoulder, shoulder blade, uh, to your collarbone. And from here, let's start our first rep. Let's go. One, exhale, slow on the way down, halfway, then you come all the way up. Then when you hit down, all the way up, second set. Second rep, sorry, up and down. Three, halfway, up, come all the way down. Pull up, halfway, up, and then all the way up. Five, exhale, to press it up. Six, that's it, seven. Forward. Eight, up, halfway, come down, all the way up, and all the way down, then up nine. Don't rest at the bottom of the top. Continuous reps. Ten, that's it. Eleven. All right, my chest not too heavy, so I'm going to go for fifteen. If your chest much heavier than this, you can stop at twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. And then all the way up, 15, last one, all the way down, and give it a rest. Good, recover. <coughs> okay, so obviously, when you're trying to work out, uh, work your strength, movements, all right, you want to work in about 8 to 12 reps if you're aiming for hypertrophy. Okay, hypertrophy training, you want to increase your muscle size, strength, and the density, and all that. But if you hit more than 12 reps, 12 to 15 reps, you're working a little bit more muscular endurance, okay? So it's not about counting your reps and stopping at 10 or 12 or 8 or 15. It's about carrying the right weight that you can only hit the amount of reps in that rep range, okay? So for me, obviously today with this, I'm hitting 15. I can actually hit even more 15 to 20 uh, because of the weight of my chair. Then I'll end up working muscular endurance, okay? If I stop at 8 or 12, it's not going to do anything for me. Alright, so try I should have found a try to find a heavier chair. I don't have anything here that like I can hit about 8 to 12, which is what I do what I want. Okay? Alright, let's go to the second step. Up. So remember resting in between. You don't want to rest more than one and a half minutes, okay? If you're doing high uh, strength training especially. Okay, not too long. Three. And still four. Good. Five. Four, six, those shoulders nice and strong, seven, good, eight, super, nine, slow on the eccentric, okay, ten, so remember the eccentric phase of the movement is when gravity is pulling it down, so on the way down so I could just drop it, but I'm not going to drop it, I'm going to use gravity as resistance, that's it. I'm just gonna have one more rep for good measure. Up and up all the way down and relax. Rest. Short rest before we're gonna get into the next set. Okay? So again, if your chair or your weight is not that heavy, you don't want to rest too long. 
if it's a little bit heavier, you might want need to rest a little bit longer. But also, maybe 30, 45 seconds is good. A lot longer than that, okay? okay cover, rest, tendencies in the gym, end up on your phone, you end up on social media, you end up resting for like five minutes. Okay, you don't want that. <laughs> okay, let's go, 30 seconds. Rest it up, and push. One. fire right now okay your shoulders I don't want you to feel it here nowhere else but your shoulders <coughs> okay so feeling your delts feel the pump in your shoulders okay ready last set pick it up so remember one hunch core strong shoulders back and down and let's go one two one two up shoulders of course as you know everything shoulders today we're gonna do front raises okay so this one even with this chair is gonna be challenging for me okay you're not gonna be able to raise as much as you press so technically you should be able to press more than you can raise okay so maybe uh, I'm gonna try to hit 12 but let's see how it goes okay so same thing are you gonna hold it face that chair grab the legs at the top don't hold it too far, too low, okay? It's gonna wobble, it's gonna be hard. Hold it on top, right? Okay, and look how I'm kind of sandwiched in between. Okay, so it's nice and safe. Make sure the legs don't, the legs of the chair don't bash on your legs. So second exercise now, we're gonna start with the chair front raise. So the arms straight, shoulders back, and you're gonna raise the chair up to shoulder height, and then all the way down. So just get your arms up to shoulder height. Two, three, Going the way down, four. Good. The tension, five. That's it. Six. Try not to swing it. Seven. So you want to be thrusting like this, okay? So keep your body still. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Alright, let's see if I can push the 15, 13, maybe just for the first set, 14, and one last one, 15, up, shoulder height, or a little bit higher, and then slow the way down, and rest, woo, super, okay, recover, Pull yourself down, <coughs> woo, me, hot, 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 hot. alright, let's go, ready, shake it off, second set, ready, Pick it up, let's go. Shoulders back and raise. One, two, up to the front. 
one, three, four, five, six, good life, sit, body still, seven, I can only do 12 this set. Let's go. One, two more. And one more. 12. Up. Control. Ooh. And rest. Okay, so you should really feel the burn in your shoulders now. Now, when I say don't rest at the bottom or the top, I mean at the ends of the range of motion. So, for example, the full range of motion is from here to here, right? So, obviously, for the front range, you wouldn't be resting up here, but you would be resting. You come all the way down, chill for a bit, tap your thighs, and just stop, okay? So, I want you to come up. So, before you even touch your thigh, come very close, you're gonna come right back up, okay? So, you keep full tension the whole time as opposed to resting for a second and then coming back up, okay? So, try to keep the tension there, all right, instead of resting, okay? So in the shoulder press, you can also lock your arms and rest on top. So that's what I didn't want, okay? Let's go, third set, shoulders back. And exhale. One. And two. Three. Let's go, four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, 10, 11, and last one, 12, throwing the way down, Woo. recover, rest, three sets down, one more to go, all right, see, I waited, last set, ready, so, okay, ready to go. Last set, pick it up. So the front race, work with the front of your belt. Let's go. Come on. So you see, sometimes I bend my knee like this, just so that I can help keep my body more still. Okay, sometimes when you lock out like that, you tend to crush with your hips. All right, even if I'm trying to keep my core strong, the soft bend in the knees, and I can try to keep my core still as I can. Six. Seven. Halfway. Eight, nine, ten, two more, eleven, and last one, hold at three, two, one, go all the way down, holy, okay, now you can actually move the chair out of the way, alright, we're going to now grab your equal weight, alright, and we're going to do your side lateral raises with the oil or and also and the next one also is real oil so you don't need your chair anymore okay all right all right guys so grab your weights i want you to go and go into side lateral raises okay working now the side head of your delts all right with this one if you want to uh, if you have weights a little bit more manageable um that you want to push yourself with just make sure shoulders back arms with a slight bend and it's going to raise up like this all the way up to your shoulder height sideways okay however if they're too heavy you can't find anything that you can manage what you can do to make it lighter is by bending your elbows to 90 degrees and raising like so okay so just remember keep your arms bent raised up to shoulder height so i want your elbows and wrists at shoulder height then slow on the way down okay but if you want it more challenging you have your arms straighter but try not to lock your elbows like this okay you don't hyperextend just keep your elbows soft and that is your straight arm okay okay let's get started with your side lateral raises grab your weight shoulders back and down and let's go one so i'm gonna have it with my arms soft take two go on the way down three four that's it five six six seven eight go on the way down Nine. Just like anything else, you don't want to. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Let's go for fifteen. And up and slow on the way down. So 
just like whatever I said earlier about the not resting at the top or the bottom, all right? You don't want to be stopping here and then up and then boom, just dropping it down either, okay? So before you hit the bottom, come back up and slow on the way down. Don't just lose gravity and drop the weight, okay? All right. If your handles are not suitable, it's okay. It's okay if your weight dangles like this. It doesn't matter how it holds, okay? Okay, so let's go. Second set. Up. Let's try to hit 15 again. If not, 12 is good. Two. Three. Body still. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Nine. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Last one. Fifteen. Up. Slow the way down. Oh! And rest. Super. All right. Two down, two to go. Now, with this exercise, you're still working your shoulders, of course, but you're working more of the lateral head, the side of your shoulders, okay? So this is really going to make it pop, okay? You're going to see that pop, and after this one, you're going to see the next exercise, you're going to make it pop even more, you're going to look rear, all right? Relax. Now, roll it out. Ready, third set. Let's go. Pick it up. And let's go. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ooh, it's on fire. Eleven, twelve. Let's try to hit fifteen anyway. Come on, thirteen, fourteen. Last one, 15. All right. That burn's good. That burn's a good side. Oh. All right, pushing to your limits. Good, 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 good. Shake it off, shake it off. Rest for a bit. Relax. Have some water beneath. Drink. All right. Let's move on to the last set. Let's go. Up. One. Two. Four. Okay, remember, relax your traps. Use your doubt, alright? Not your traps. Five. Six. So remember, you're not chugging like this. Drop your shoulders down. Seven. Focus on your shoulders, not your traps. Eight. Nine. Ten. Five more. Five. Four. Woo! Three. Two. And one last one. One. Super! Oh my goodness. Okay. So on fire now. Good, good, good. Now your last exercise. We're going to go in a bent over position. So just like any bent over position I've gone through with you. Whether it's a deadlift, all right, a bend over roll, whatever. Always hinge at those hips. Keep your spine neutral, meaning don't round your back. Keep your spine straight. So this is your neutral spine. Okay, you know, go hinge back. Notice how my knees soften, but they're not dropping like this. I'm not squatting. Do not squat. You're gonna get tight your quads for no reason. You're gonna hinge back. All right, hold this position. My butt is going backwards, and my spine is not rounded like this. Okay, shoulders back, shoulders back, and from here you just stay here with your upper body, all right, uh, your whole body I mean, and you're just literally going to move your arms and your shoulders, okay, so the next one is your bend over rear delt raise, so rear means behind, delt on shoulder, so rear delt, so we're going to work the back or part of your shoulder now, you should be feeling it here, okay, now, in order to hit that part, you basically have to turn your palms this way, okay? This way, so you're not lifting it up this way, you're lifting up this way, okay? So pinky, your little finger, think about pointing it to the sky or the ceiling, all right? So when you grab your weight, all right, you can turn it this way. So you raise 
pinky bottom side up. All right, okay, let's get started. This is your last exercise, four sets, and we're done for the day. All right, so get your bent over position, so hinge back. All right, spine neutral from here. Have your pinky pointing up, ready, and let's go. Rear delt raise, three, two, one, let's go. One, one, two, three. So raising it up to the side, keep your body still. Four, pinky up. Five, six, seven, good, keep going, eight, nine, soft, bend in your elbows again, ten, let's go, try to hit two more knees, seven, and one more, twelve, and rest, okay, this one is not easy, this one is where you want to use <laughs> a lighter weight, okay? What, whatever you can find. Mine's only about 2.5, like that, 2 to 2.5, and that's already a bit of a struggle. So always pick a weight that's challenging, but not something where it's gonna, which is gonna compromise your form. You don't want to do it bad form and technique because first of all, you can hurt yourself. Second of all, you're not gonna achieve what you're trying to achieve. Okay? You need to perform the exercise properly to hit the right muscle, as opposed to compensating, you know, thrusting and all that, and you're not even gonna work that part you want to be working. Okay? Okay. Let's go. Life. We'll hit 12 reps again. Second set. 3, to 1. And hinge back. And let's do this. 1. So remember, look, point pinky up. 2. Okay? So really squeeze the back of your shoulders. 3. You're going to focus on that part. 4. Try not to raise your body up and down. 5. Try not to use momentum. 6. Purely with the rear. Rear down. 7. Exhale, 8. 9. 10. Uh, two more, come on. Last one. Oh my god. And rest. Break up. Two sets down, last two, and we are done for the day. Okay? Alright, recover, recover. Okay, ready. Let's go into your third set. Let's get over and done with. Sorry, the front, reach back, and go one. Alright, two. Three. Four. That's it. Feel it. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Ugh. Nine. Ten. Make sure your back is straight. Don't run your back. Eleven. And one last one. Twelve. Oh my god, that was hard. Okay. Last set coming up. Three sets down, two, two, uh, one to go. Alright. Let's go recover. Recover, recover. One last set. Catch your breath. Ready. Okay. Ready? Let's pick up those weights. One last set to go. Three, two, one. Hinge back. Stay in this position. From here, pinky, thumb to thumb. All right. Point your weights together. And roll. One. Raise. Two. That's it. Soft elbow. Three. Focus on your shoulders. Four. Five. Halfway. Come on. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, ten, two more, one more. Oh my goodness, and we are done for today. Perfect, okay? Woo! All right, that was tough, that was tough, guys. Okay, very well done. Now it's all up. Now, I'm gonna do a quick stretch. So let's just mobilize your shoulders again. Grab your towel, grab a long one, or to resist this band, and just circle, rotate your shoulders a little bit. Good. Take, give me about eight, or ten, two more to ten, and one more, and 
that's it. Okay, now let's just roll your shoulders back and down, and then one arm across the chest. Wow, I feel it. Push arms against each other. Feel that. Push your toe in. Good. Now the other side. The other side, one arm across the chest. Pushing your arms against each other. So stretching out your shoulders. Good. And now, you can slide your knees your back, shoulders down, open up your chest. Alright, and we are done for today, guys. Very, very well done, everybody. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Your little boulder shoulder workout. Feel the pump. Look at the pump. Well, I don't have much of a pump now, but... <laughs> okay, but I hope you guys enjoyed that. I will see you next time, probably for a cardio session. All right, see you guys.